Hi, welcome to Yoga with Dags. Today we are going to do a very well-rounded practice, including some warm-up, standing pose, forward bending, back bending, and twisting. So hopefully you will feel wonderful by the time we're done. We're gonna begin just by centering. So put two bricks together or just fold up a blanket or you can <clears throat> just feel free to sit right on the earth if that works for you. And just take a cross-legged pose and take your uncustomary cross, maybe putting the leg in front that you don't normally put in front. And take a moment to just see that the shins are crossed in the center and reach your heels underneath the knees as best you can. And just settle in here for a moment, sit up nice and straight and just land in your practice, land in this moment, land in your body. Maybe gently close your eyes and find a nice breath where you're inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Trying to find an a even breath. So maybe inhaling to the count of three or four and exhaling to the count of three or four. And as you inhale, just feel yourself coming into presence. And as you exhale, just feel yourself letting go of, of the contents that are in your mind, letting go of thoughts or worries, and just really coming present here in this moment, preparing for practice. Nice breaths there. And then when you're ready, you can let your eyes softly open and take your hands into the heart center. And we're going to do quite a bit today with um, keeping our hearts and our chest lifted up. So Maybe spread your fingers, put the roots of your thumb right at the breastbone and lift the breastbone up to lift the chest up and feel a broadening through your collarbones, a broadening through the shoulders and just feel as if the shoulder blades are very firm on your back and there's a slight downward action of the shoulder blades. So as you're lifting the chest up, and broadening the chest, you're feeling the shoulder blades move um, down the back. And you're grounding through your seat so you can feel both of your sitting bones firmly on your support or on the earth. And just completely in presence here. And then maintaining that, let's interlace our hands, press the palms to face forward and inhale up. And just maybe bend the elbows a little bit, take the arms back and exhale, press those arms up nice toward the ceiling. Again, softening through the tops of the shoulders and lifting through the chest, shoulder blades down the back, front ribs settle back, deep breath in. And on the exhale, we're just gonna gently twist to the left, so let that left hand go behind, right hand to the outer leg, big breath in, and exhaling slowly back to the center. And then your uncustomary cross of your hands, pressing out, inhaling up, big breath, exhale, rolling belly right, gentle twist. Big breath in, and exhaling slowly back to the center. And then changing the cross for just a moment in the legs. We'll twist one more time. Let's sweep the arms out and up, big breath in. Exhale, twisting first to the left. Big breath in, exhale, center. 
Inhale, sweep out and up. Exhale, opposite. Oh, yeah. Big breath in. Exhale, returning to the center. Good. And then just come forward. Actually, hmm, don't come forward. Let's try something. So here we are with our legs crossed. We're gonna see if you can just plant your feet and use your core, keeping the legs crossed. See if you can just come on up to standing. And then maybe cross the legs the other way. They say this is um, a test for health to see if you can do this. Sit back down. If you are on the floor and not a support, it might be harder. And then we'll do it again. See if you can do it in this direction. Stand right up. Ah, and uncross those legs. Something to practice if that was tricky. All right, so we're gonna begin with a nice little warm up of sun salutation. I'm gonna do it from the side just so you have a visual. Um, okay, so standing at the top of our mats, we're just gonna limber up here. Hands to the heart center, feeling the breath, feeling the moment. Allowing there to be spaciousness in your mind. When you're ready, inhale, sweep those arms out and up, really gathering life. Exhale, dive into your life, dive into this day, dive into this moment. And just hang loosely for a minute, first forward, fold of the day. Inhale, take your hands to your shins, stretch your spine forward, big breath in. Exhale, fully come down again and just let go. Big breath in, place the fingertips alongside the feet and take a big step back with your left leg. Big step back, take a nice long lunge here. Drop the back, let the toes go, squeeze the hips together. And just inhale, come on up in the pose of devotion. Big breath in, exhale, arms come back down, toes curl under, stepping back into downward facing dog. Lift the hips high, stretch it out here for a moment. Big breath in, and then exhaling forward to plank. Nice big breath in, and then exhale, drop your knees. Drop your chin, drop your chest, and inhale, swoop through to a little Bhujangasana. Big breath in, exhale, come back to child's pose. Inhale, up onto all fours, put the toes down, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look up between those hands. On the exhale, step forward with the left and then the right. And then just hang there a minute. Pressing down into the feet. Inhale, reverse swan dive up, all the way up. And exhale, the hands to the heart. And release. Awesome. And then we'll do the second side here. So hands to the heart. Inhale, sweeping the arms out and up. Exhale, diving in. Inhale, hands to shins, spine long. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, hands by the feet. Exhale, step back with the left one this time. Take a nice long lunge. Let that breastbone go forward, shoulder blades down the back. Drop the back knee. Inhale up, pose a devotion, offering up your day, leaning forward into the pose, looking up, little back bend here. Big breath in on the exhale. Take the hands down, curl the back toe under and step back into downward facing dog for a nice, Dog stretch, hips high, thighs back. Big breath in, exhale forward to plank. 
Nice big breath in, exhale, drop the knees, drop the chin, drop the chest. Inhale, scoop through. Exhale, come back for a little child's. Inhale up to tabletop, curl the toes, exhale, dog. Inhale, look up between the hands, exhale, big step forward, left. And right, hang there for just a moment. Press into the feet, inhale, reverse swan dive up. And exhale, hands to heart. From here, take mountain pose, Tadasana. Just standing for a moment, eyes closed. Just feeling the effects of that warm up. And then let the eyes open. And we're going to work on a little bit of standing poses. So, first, we're going to inhale our fingertips up to our heart center and step in or hop your feet apart, coming a little bit wide so that the palms are over the ankles. Hold that over. And then let's turn the right toes in and roll the left ones out all the way to 90 degrees. So when they're rolled all the way out, when you bend the knee, you should be seeing the knee go over the second or third toes. So let's just do that a little bit. Let's go we'll inhale and we'll bring the arms up and we'll exhale into warrior two. Let's do a couple of those, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhale, exhale and hold. And then inhaling, on the exhale, we're gonna stay long in the torso, keeping that chest lifted and the shoulder blades on the back. And you're going to bring the, you're going to exhale, bring the arm down and the top arm up and over to Uti to Parsvakanasana. And then you're going to inhale. You might want to widen the stance for this pose a little bit if it's comfortable for you. Big breath in, exhale. Uti to Parsvakanasana, rolling the heart up to heaven at your own pace. Three more breaths, inhaling. Exhaling. Strong and firm in your feet. And then inhaling. This time we're going to hold. So once you're down here, keep bending that front knee, ground through the back edge of that back foot opening the hips and rolling the heart up. When you're ready, inhale to warrior two, keeping the bend in the knee, straighten that leg, turn both feet to face forward and step or hop your feet together. Good, and just roll the shoulders out a little bit. Let's just stretch the shoulders for a moment in between arms out to the side. We'll take eagle arms, big breath in. On the exhale, we're gonna take the left beneath the right and wrap, lifting the elbows. And then just exhale and sit back, Utkatasana. So you're just bending the knees, full in the feet, sitting back a little bit. Belly nestles toward the spine. Tail is reaching down between the knees. Good, inhale up, exhale, release the arms. Woo! Arms out to the side, big breath in. This time we're gonna exhale right beneath left. Palm to palm, inhale the elbows up. Exhale, sit. Utkatasana from the side. You can see that the tail is nice and long, the back is straight. You should be able to see your toes too. And then inhale up, exhale, release. And we'll do the second side of our standing series next. <clears throat> so 
So inhale those fingertips up, bend the knees, exhale, step or hop, nice and wide apart. This time we'll be turning the left toes in, rolling that right one out from the top of the thigh. Torso stays somewhat forward here. <clears throat> Again, we're lifting up through the breastbone, shoulder blades <clears throat> are very firm on the back and downward moving. Arms are charged, big breath in. And we're gonna take a nice deep breath in. And we're gonna exhale to warrior two. Oops, I'm sorry. And then we're gonna inhale up, exhale straight in. Inhale, keep the chest lifted. Exhale, spread those arms. Inhale, exhale. You should see the big toe, but not the little toes. Inhale. Exhale, hold. From here, we're going to take a deep breath in. Palms can go down this time. On the X, maybe widen the stance before we go into the next one a little bit if you can. Try to keep um, the knee bent so that you can see the big toe, but not the little toes. We're going to take a big breath in, lifting the chest. On the exhale, we're going to come out and bring the arm up and over. Inhale, keep that knee bend, ground for the back foot. Exhale, Uti Kula Karpas Konasana, heart rolls up to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale. Two more like that. One more. This time, let's hold it for a moment. Find that back edge of the back foot. Roll the heart up to heaven. Big stretch. Really extend from the back edge of the foot all the way through the fingertips. When you're ready, keep the front knee bent. Ground through the back foot and inhale, warrior two. Straighten that leg. <clears throat> Turn both feet to face forward. And step or hop your feet together. Rolling the shoulders out one more time. All right, so we're gonna do a nice um, couple of forward bends now. The first one will be, um, actually first we're gonna work with um, a stretch that's gonna open the lungs. So we're going to think about clasping the thumbs behind the back or you can just drop your pinky, drop your ring finger, clasp your middle fingers and thumbs around each other, making a clasp and point the index fingers. So pinkies and rings are down, middles and thumbs make a firm clasp and indexes are pointed. Or you can just clasp the thumbs and point the index. Either way is totally fine. Feet are going to be hip width apart. I'm going to show this from the side. At first, when you inhale, you're going to roll those shoulder blades down the back and lift that heart and chest up. On the exhale, the knees are going to bend a little bit as you come forward with a long spine. And you're just going to take those index fingers up to the ceiling any amount that you can. Keeping the shoulder blades moving down the back, keeping the heart lifting up. Just take a couple breaths, releasing your neck. When you're ready, pressing into the feet, inhale to come up. Baby back bend and exhale, release those arms. Roll the shoulders out. Second time we do it, you're gonna change the opposite thumb on top, opposite clasp as last time. So finding a firm clasp once again with the hands. Inhale, roll shoulders down the back, chest lifts way up. Exhale, knees slightly bend, long straight spine, coming forward, releasing the neck and head, softening the tops of the shoulders and breathing deeply here.
And then pressing into the feet, inhale to come up, long straight spine all the way up to the middle back bend. Exhale to center, release the clasps, let those arms go. Okay, so um, next we're gonna do a little work with warrior one to warrior three with a variation. So coming up to the top of our mats, we're gonna take a big step back with the left foot first. So a nice big step back. Once you step back, you're gonna roll the hips forward if you can. Roll your hips forward, lift the chest up, and we're going to clasp the hands behind our back. This time you can just interlace the fingers behind your back if you want. And kind of once they're interlaced, you're just gonna pull them away a little bit. So interlace those fingers, pull them away a little bit, ground through the back edge of the back foot, roll the back hip forward. Big breath in on the exhale, staying grounded through your back foot, bend the right one into warrior one. And lift the chest, feel those shoulder blades firm on the back, moving downward, tail between the legs, chest lifting up, shoulders broad. And then we're gonna inhale and we're gonna straighten. We're gonna exhale, we're gonna bend. You're bending, as you bend, you're grounding through that back foot strongly and you're gonna bend until you can see the big toe but not the little toes. And I am gonna just show this from the side too a little bit. So inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. And then you're gonna step forward with that one. Release the arms. Oh, yeah. From here, we're gonna step back with the opposite foot that we did not do yet. Roll that back hip forward, roll that front hip back. Inhale, arms come back away from the body. Exhale, bend. Staying grounded through that back. Foot, inhale up, exhale, bend. If you can widen the stance a little, if you want to, go right ahead. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. One more, inhale, exhale, bend. Go ahead and just feel that. And then when you're ready, big breath in, exhale, step back. Release those arms and roll the shoulders out. Okay, so from here, we're gonna take that into warrior three with the arms behind the back. So this time, we're just gonna take the arms behind the back and we're gonna clasp the elbows. So it's a little less severe. And we're gonna take a big step back first with the right one, maybe two steps back. Dial the hips forward, back toes are forward to 60 degrees, tailbone going down, chest lifting up, shoulder blades firm on the back. Big breath in, exhale, bend. Warrior one. And then from here, we're gonna inhale, lift the chest, exhale, we're gonna come out over that front leg, long straight spine, pop the back foot in a little bit, and start to straighten that standing leg, lifting up that, leg, that back leg. Seeing if you can reach the breastbone forward, reach the shoulders down the back. Level the hips by dropping the pinky toe of the lifted foot. Look ahead a little bit, keep breathing, keep straightening the standing leg. When you're ready, bend it, step gracefully back, and take a full warrior one. Big breath in, exhale, step forward, release the hands to the heart and release the hands all together. From there, we'll do the second side of that. So take your hands behind your back, other elbow on top this time. And then stepping big step back with the opposite leg, and then dial the back hip forward, roll the front hip back, drop the tail, lift the 
chest, drop the shoulder blades, big breath in and exhale, bend that front knee to warrior one. Big breath in on the exhale, come forward out over that knee with a long straight spine. Start to come forward and then with control, lift the leg up. Get straight in your strong standing leg, nice and strong. See if you can drop the outer hip of the lifted leg down, pinky toe to the earth. Breastbone moves forward, shoulder blades back down the back. Big breath in on the exhale. We're gonna bend the standing leg, gracefully step back, bend the front knee and bring the arms up, warrior one, once again. Up and back you go. Bend that front, ground through the back, big breath in, exhale, step forward. And release, excellent. So that was good. So we, we did, um, Forward bending, we started to move into back bending with standing poses. Now we're gonna come down for a nice little back bend. So come toward the back of your mat. Let's inhale and sweep the arms out and up. We're gonna exhale and swan dive forward. Feet can be hip width apart. And then you're gonna just put your fingertips on the ground and you're gonna walk the hands forward into downward facing dog. Turn the arms out a little bit, really lift up through the hips, take the tops of the thighs back. Enjoy your dog for a minute, maybe bend one knee and then the other, stretching out the hamstrings. Just exploring, sometimes I like to Bend both knees and lift the hips higher. Sometimes I like to be straight and just kind of shake my doggy tail a little bit, releasing my neck. However that feels good for you, just take a moment in your dog and then dropping the knees when you're ready, drop them wide for child's pose, stretch back. And when you're ready, coming forward onto the belly. I'm gonna to come to the side view for a minute. Just coming forward onto the belly, releasing the hands back, turning the neck and letting go for a minute. And when you're ready, first we're gonna come into um, Sphinx pose. So your elbow should be under your shoulders, hands straight forward. Legs are nice and long, inner thighs are rolled up, feet are straight. And we're just gonna kind of lift up, reaching the tail, lifting the breastbone, feeling those shoulder blades nice and firm on the back. And then when you're ready, press the knuckles forward and then isometrically drag them back and straighten those arms if you can, any and out. Lifting the chest up, any and out. Big breath in, and then exhale, come back down. All the way down, release the arms back by the sides. Let go. When you're ready, bending the elbows, put the fingertips by the chest, bring the elbows in, reach the feet back. Take a big breath in on the exhale, Gently rise up, Bhujangasana. So just rising up, staying planted through the sacrum, reaching back through the legs. Big breath in, trying to come up first time without pressure on the hands. And then exhale, come down, turn the head the opposite way. You can keep your hands where they are for a moment. We're gonna do one more of those. So we're gonna inhale, chin to face forward, Exhale, rise up, peeling up. This time we're gonna put a little bit of pressure on the hands, let the back of the neck hood and take a nice Bhujangasana here. Big breath in and then exhale forward and down. Release the hands, release the head to the sides. Let's bend our knees, widen them and just let them swish back and forth. 
Inhaling them up to center, exhaling, releasing them back and forth. Good. And then when you're ready, press coming through child's pose. Coming on up, and we're going to take a nice restorative back bend. So, this one is called Parankasana or couch pose. So, how we're going to do this is we're going to have one brick at the medium height, medium height, um, kind of the wide way, medium height, and the other brick is going to go low behind it for our head. Some people's neck might not allow for it to stay low um, for the second one. If you need to raise the second one to the medium height, that's okay too. We're gonna begin with cross-legged and Sukhasana. Um, let's begin again with the uncustomary cross. So the one that we don't usually have in front first. And then you're just gonna gently lay down over this brick that's at the medium height aiming to get your shoulder blades right on it, getting those shoulder blades nice and firm on it, and then lengthening the back of the neck as you bring the head back. So it's not crunching, it's coming nice and long if you can. Then take a moment to feel that chest lifting up, the shoulder blades moving down the back, the tailbone moving toward the feet. And just let the arms come out to the side, opening the back, nice little back bend here. Taking a couple big breaths here in your parankasana or couch pose. And when you're ready, we're just going to kind of press into the mat with our hands and come up trying to stay nice and center. This one is done twice, so changing the cross of the legs to the opposite. Let's just take a slight counter forward by lifting the chest, shoulder blades firm on the back and coming forward any amount for the hips. Breathing into that. And then coming slowly back over our support, getting the shoulder blades firm on the support, lifting, lengthening that neck as you come back. And then arms out to the sides, tail nice and long. Couple of big breaths. When you're ready, again, pressing into the elbows, keeping the chin nice and central, and then using the hands to press up. Lifting the chest, actually change the cross first and lift the chest, and then just creep those fingertips forward into a forward fold, just going enough that you get a little bit of a stretch through the hips. A little bit of a counter stretch, but really keeping the chest lifted, keeping the shoulder blades firm on your back. And then inhaling to come up. And we're gonna come into a little twist before we rest. So, bricks aside, let's just come down for a moment and lie on the back. Baby bridge first to reset the spine. So put your heels in line with your Sitting bones, roll your shoulders under, take a big breath in and just lift up for a nice little bridge for a minute. You might even clasp your hands beneath if you wanna roll the shoulders under a little bit more. 
reaching from the hips to the knees. And then slowly releasing that down. We're going to take the knees right into the chest for a moment and give them a little squeeze, maybe rocking from side to side a little bit for comfort and to massage the lower spine. Just being present to your body, present to this moment, present to your breath. Noticing how you're feeling. And then keeping that left knee into the chest, extend your right leg onto the ground. Take a big breath in and on the exhale, let the left arm go out to the side and use the right arm to guide that leg all the way over to a nice supine twist. Really trying to keep the knee at least at the height of your hip. And just ah, letting it go, maybe gently turning the neck off to the left if it feels good to do that. A couple of good breaths here. When you're ready, you can inhale that back up to the center and exhale. Just bending both knees, a gentle reset of your spine to the center by pressing into the feet. Both knees up to the chest, this time keeping hold of the right one, extending that left one nice and long. Big breath in on the exhale, taking the right arm out to the side, using the left one to gently guide yourself over for a supine twist. Gently rocking the head, maybe even turning to look out over the right with some big breath. When you're ready, we can inhale back up to the center and reset the spine by bending both legs and taking a baby bridge. Now we're going to head right into Shavasana, our final rest, by stretching the legs out and allowing them to be as wide as your mat, bringing the arms by the side. Once again, feel the lift up through your chest and the shoulder blades reaching down the back. And then once the shoulder blades are firm on the back, rest them equally from side to side on your mat. And let the shoulders just soften. Let the shoulders melt into the arms. And the arms melt into the forearms. And the forearms melt into the hands and fingers. Releasing the entire arms. And then letting the legs grow long. Seeing that they're balanced equally from side to side on the heels. Softening through the hips and the buttocks down through the upper legs, the calves, feet, toes, letting the entire legs go. And releasing your belly, Heart center, softening your throat, the back of your neck, this 
seeing that the head is resting right in the center of the skull. And entirely releasing the head. Softening the forehead. Allowing the eyes to soften and sink back into the head. Relaxing the corners of the mouth. The tongue right in the center of your lower palate. Releasing any tension in the jaw. Down the ears and eyes. And the tongue all to soften inward. Into a place of pure spaciousness and openness. Allowing As you rest in the spaciousness, in this field of awareness and openness, I'll just read a little quote from Rumi. Out beyond ideas of wrongdoing and right doing, there is a field. I'll meet you there. When the soul lies down in that grass, ideas, language, even the phrase each other doesn't make sense. So resting in that field, beyond beliefs and ideas, beyond ideologies. Place of openness. Love. And then when you're ready, you can bring a little gentle movement back into your fingers and your toes, just increasing the awareness of your body. Allowing your breath to increase again. Breathing in gratitude for this body, this human form that you've been given this day. Maybe hugging the knees up into the chest. And in exhalation, you can roll onto the right side and just rest there for a moment, taking a nice breath. And with your next inhalation, you can press up and find a seat where the spine can be nice and long again to seal our practice together.
So sitting up nice and straight, we'll take our hands to our hearts, connecting to that place inside that can contain the whole universe, that place of openness and vastness and love. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through this practice today. Namaste. Peace in your heart and peace in the world. Until we meet again next week.